Hey, how's it going guys? This is Matt and uh, got a couple boxes of the new 2021 Topps Brooklyn Collection. This was an online exclusive. I got it with my Montgomery Club membership this year. Uh, this was a cool product last year. You get a couple on-card autos, 150 bucks a box, really good checklist. Uh, all the super big time autos are short printed, I'm sure, but um, at least you got a chance to get like some Trouts, Jeters, some really nice, like high quality stuff. And generally the cards are pretty high quality, good card stock, and I should have got a knife, but I didn't, so. You get to see me struggle. Okay. So, seen some boxes of this opened already. Got nice little box, all the cards are here. The two autos are always at the bottom, so I will do my best not to spoil those. Look. Got the foam on the bottom. All right. There we go. First card. You, know, you can't do much better than a Griffey. Get a good look at the design. So it's uh, kind of a vintagey design, but I like it. Next up, we got Pedro Martinez. So it should be two parallels and two autographs per box, for what it's worth. Mariano, so Rivera, Mariano Rivera, Pedro Martinez, and Ken Griffey Jr. for base. Not too bad there. Ooh, nice. Jonathan India out of 99. Can't do much better than that in terms of uh, rookies, so I'll take that all day. And a Mike Trout to 75. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for a veteran parallel, can't do much better than that. And it looks like I do have a redemp on the back. Ooh, it's like a, it's not a normal tops redemp. It's like a sticker redemp, which might mean it's something pretty cool. I'm not really sure. I haven't seen, I've been watching some videos and I know like Kellenic and Tristan McKenzie I've seen are redemptions, but they're like the normal tops redemptions. They're not like these last second sticker redemptions so i'm not really sure what i got going on there i'm pretty excited though all right first auto we've got taylor tremel um i'm okay with that i mean he didn't do much but he's a, one of those kind of upside guys so i'm okay with that so we're gonna kind of slow roll this redemption here like i said i mean maybe it's nothing but i i have seen several boxes of this opened over the last couple days, and I haven't seen anything that is a redemption like this. So it could be something cool. I don't know. I'm hoping. Congratulations. Sorry, camera's a little blurry there. So it's a blue autograph, which I don't remember what that's numbered out of, but numbered to something, 40 maybe? I guess it depends on the player. Some players are probably numbered lower. Of <laughs> eh, Verdugo. Okay, so nothing really too special there, but just weird that it was uh, kind of a last minute redemption, it looks like. So I would say uh, kind of an underwhelming box, at least in terms of the autographs, but. I would say the big two cards so far are honestly the parallels, the Trout and the Jonathan India. So a couple nice cards. Let's hope for a good auto out of this one. I feel like those were two kind of underwhelming autographs. They had me all hyped up with the, the weird redemption that I hadn't seen like that yet. All right. Box two. Do a quick flip, because my phone wouldn't come out. Don't want to spoil anything. Okay. 
So right on top, good rookie, Cabrian Hayes. Followed by Fernando Tatis Jr. And a Jared Kelnick rookie. So well, rookie-wise, we've got a India parallel, a Jared Kelenic, and a Cabrian Hayes. So I don't think the rookies could have gone much better, all things considered. Jose Ramirez to 99. Looks like we got a red to five, I want to say. So that could be really cool if it's a good player. Who do we got? Three of five. Frank Thomas, three of five. I'm not going to complain about that. Big Hurt, three out of five. And it looks like the next card is a redemption. So we have a black auto and a redemption. And yeah, see, so here we've got standard redemption. So, so far, guys that I've seen that are redemptions, Kellenic and Tristan McKenzie. So I guess I don't want Tristan McKenzie because not that there's anything wrong with him, but I've pulled him before. Uh, I've, I've, he's kind of been following me around, so only because I don't want more Tristan McKenzie. So we got base autograph of who? Christian Pache. All right. I mean, not huge, but a pretty solid rookie, and I don't have an autograph of his yet, so I will take that. Not too happy that I got two redemptions, but on-card autos, kind of to be expected, I guess. All right, and who do we have for the... So it's a rookie, red hat. So let's guess. Um, Joe Adele, Dylan Carlson... Anyone else? Jonathan India? India? No, Jose Garcia? Jose Garcia to 75. Okay. Um, yeah, didn't do great on the autos, not gonna lie. Uh, the Pache is probably my favorite auto that I hit out of these. So you can get some really nice, like, retired guys, Hall of Famers. Um, superstar players, things like that. But again, I know they're all super short printed by comparison. Like these are, you know, out of 75, I know some of the base autos of guys I've seen are like out of 20 if they're the short prints. So I'm not surprised I didn't get any of those. So do a quick recap. Autos, we've got two redemptions, unfortunately. Uh, blue Alex Verdugo, a base Christian Pache, probably out of 99. Jose Garcia Black to 75, and Taylor Trammell Rookie to 99. Uh, just recap the color as well, and then call it a day. So probably the nicest hit. I mean, these were a couple of pretty, like, below average boxes for sure. The Frank Thomas out of five, pretty awesome. Jose Ramirez, uh, the Trout is a big hit, and the Jonathan India is pretty solid. I would say, honestly, the, the two best hits from a financial perspective right now, probably these two, which is kind of kind of sad in a product where you get two on-card autos with a really nice checklist that my best cards were non-autographed cards. But, um, I mean, that could change. I, I hit, what, three out of my four autographs were, were rookie autos. So there's a lot of room there for growth. But um, hope you liked the video. Uh, I enjoyed the break. Product was solid. The cards look really nice. Uh, it doesn't look to be any... I mean, there's some, this is just an example, the Kellenic. Um, you know, this is not going to get a great centering grade from anybody. You know, top bottom's not looking so great there. Actually, it looks good on the front, though. But um, anyways, no real condition issues. I didn't have any, like, weird chipping or surface issues. So all these cards look like they're in pretty good shape, with the exception of some off-center cuts. So if that's your thing, um, the only thing I'd be wary of is their thicker card stock, which, at least in my experience, tend to have uh, chipping issues on the edges. These look pretty good, especially since they have white fronts. I would just be on the lookout for issues with these back. If you're buying, like, online to grade, um, just a tip, 
ask for pictures of the back of the card. Not that these look like they have any issues. Mine look very good, but the front might look amazing with that white border. You're not going to see any chipping, but with this like darker colored chipping, again, you can't really see anything. These cards, th this is a pretty clean card, but you'll definitely see chipping on these edges, especially with thicker card stock like this. So ask for pictures of the back before you purchase, especially if grading is your thing. Uh, okay, I've rambled long enough. Hope you enjoyed.